friends welcome back if you are a returning subscriber or viewer and welcome to everyone who is new around here my name is Taylor and today we are going to do an 18 plus pick a car reading where we are going to talk about what they want to do next time they see you what is on their mind what are some things that they are interested in doing with you okay so I have uh, four different piles in front of me here today and we have quite a few cards to go through and there will be uh, timestamps down below whenever you are ready to go ahead and jump to your reading. And if you feel compelled by, you know, more than one crystal, if two piles are really speaking to you, that's okay. That just means you're meant to hear messages from both piles. So if you really can't choose, it is totally okay. So for pile number one, we have an angel aura. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is a druzy. <laughs> a druzy pendant, a dark blue druzy pendant. Pile number two, we have a little tiny Labradorite coffin pendant. And in pile number three, we have a Angel Aura Tourmaline. And pile number four, we have a Geode. So again, just take a couple deep breaths and just meditate on it and think about which crystal is really calling your name and which, you know, which crystal is really calling to you and that will lead you to whichever pile is best fitting your personal situation. So I will see you all down at your reading. Welcome back pile number one. So that's if you chose this um, druzy pendant. So let's go ahead and see what this person wants to do the next time they see you. What is on their mind? Okay, interesting. So Right off the bat, I'm seeing this person um, has very direct intentions for what they want to do. They are very, um, you know, excited to see you. They are um, excited to be with you again. You know, they feel very aroused and, um, you know, like hot and heavy thinking about it. So this person is definitely like you are on their mind. They are thinking about you. They are wanting to be with you. So definitely, um, you know. If you are interested in this person and maybe this is somebody you're seeing or even just someone you may be having like a small fling with, this person is definitely excited to hook up with you again or even hook up with you for the first time if this is not someone that you have been with before. And I see that they want something very like passionate. They are looking for um, something very like hot and heavy. I feel like that they, they also enjoy that, um, you know, romantic like pillow talk after and cuddling and things like that but this person is just like so ready to you know get to the deed and do you know what you all are gonna do and they're just very um you know it's turned on and like hot by that and um this person in a way is they like that your relationship right now is a little bit like secretive. I feel like they enjoy that, that not everybody in the world knows. And so in a way they like kind of like keeping you all to themselves so they don't have to, you know, go out in the world and tell everybody about it. And right now they're just enjoying this like intimate time between both of you where just both of you are aware of the relationship and you both are uh, just feeling really good about it. So I don't, you know, I really don't feel that this person is ready to give that up yet. So um, you know, for some people that can be a drawback and a negative, but I feel like in this case, this person is just very much enjoying that closeness. They are enjoying, you know, being very like hot and heavy and intimate with you and they are just like really enjoying this time. And so they're not 100% ready to let that go. Um, but I don't look at it as any like negative as if they don't like want to tell people they're with you. I just see as they are like enjoying this time with you right now in a in like their own way right they are just really trying to like get to know you and um, they enjoy that it's like this private thing right now between you two because once a relationship goes public it's like you know it's a little bit different than when it's just like between you and a person right and so this person is really worried about ruining something and um, in this case I feel like this person is uh, slightly worried about like not pleasing you you know they want to make sure that you're feeling good that you enjoy yourself it's a really big deal for them that they you know help you orgasm and make you feel really good so you know definitely be um you know letting this person know if you're enjoying yourself um you know just let them know because they may struggle a little bit maybe they don't have 
um, as much experience as you, they may struggle a little bit with that. So, you know, they feel a little bit worried about that. But overall, they're just like very excited to be with you again. Just being around you and feeling your closeness and, you know, being intimate with you is enough for them. They're just so excited to um, like hook up with you again. And um, lastly, we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this person really enjoys flirting with you. I feel like if you all, you know, talk or text um, that you all are very flirty with each other, you, um, you know, maybe send like sweet or like silly messages back to each other in a flirtatious manner. And so this person really enjoys that. They enjoy that lighthearted um, really sweet and like in a way innocent energy. Um, it just makes them feel very like excited to be around you because it makes them feel as if you like them. And again, this person feels slightly um, not confident in themselves. You know, they may feel a little bit worried about pleasing you. Maybe they feel like they can't do the job. So flirting with this person and showing them that you have an interest in them and that you do enjoy uh, being intimate with them and that you had a great time is going to really lift their spirit. So this person definitely, um, it really enjoys like that flirting and really wants to, you know, spend that time with you. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, um, please hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you like, uh, like true crime, murder mystery things. I do have another channel that I just started working on in the description. Um, I will post it if you're interested in that type of thing. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we do some different stuff over here than we do here definitely, but it's fun if you like that type of thing. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Welcome back pile number two. So that's if you chose this little Labradorite coffin. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what this person wants to do to you next time they see you. What are their interests in your body? Okay. So I'm definitely seeing that this person um, just wants to get down and do it. Like they are excited to hook up with you. I feel like you all, um, you know, had a really very like positive um, time the last time they saw you. I feel like they want to make you feel good. Um, you know, they really enjoyed I feel like the last time they were with you and even for some of you um, if you haven't been with this person yet um, I feel like that they um, are just like excited like overall I'm feeling very like excited and like happy and like very like horny energy uh, to be around you I'm just I'm feeling like they are very very excited to um, you know finally see you and this person is um, feeling rather like incomplete without you you know I'm feeling like for some of you um, this person may be like somewhat of a long-term relationship for you, or maybe you've been dating this person a while. Um, you know, maybe this person's on like a trip for work or, you know, whatever's going on in your personal life. I'm feeling that this person, um, in a way feels like incomplete that you're not in their life. And so they're just really excited to get back to you and like hook up with you again. They are just feeling very like turned on by you. Like I'm feeling such like an intense energy, like definitely a lot of fire sign energy is definitely like coming right out at me. So uh, for some of you, this person may have a lot of like fire in their chart, uh, maybe even some air, but I'm definitely feeling a ton of fire. And so this person wants to have like rough sex, very rough, um, you know, maybe a little choking, um, holding you down, you holding them down, whatever, you know, you all are into. We don't kink shame around here. Um, you know, definitely just like very excited and just ready to go. Like they want something very rough. Um, they're excited to do something and they also, um, they don't want to play around. Like they are ready to just like jump right into it. So I definitely see this person as like pouncing on you right away when they see you, right? And, um, you know, this person definitely like, they, they, you know, when I'm talking about that, they feel, um, like empty when they're not seeing you, they just feel very down. They feel like things aren't complete for them. I'm definitely seeing like something's just like missing in their heart. They just feel very down, feel very low about themselves right now. And so they just need to see you. They need, um, like they like crave your energy. They crave being around you. So I feel like this person, you make them feel really good. And so they just need that from you. So I'm feeling like for a lot of you, um, you and this person are probably like opposite signs. So 
uh, because I am feeling a lot of fire energy. I'm feeling like you have more earth or even like a lot of like water um, in your charts where you are definitely like a more calm and you're able to really um, make this person feel good and also kind of like bring them down a little bit out of that mania because I'm seeing a very a lot of like very nervous and like excited energy from this person so they're just really excited to like get back with you and see you again and then a uh, time apart from your partners on the horizon so I'm definitely seeing um, there is some sort of separation happening uh, maybe you and this person broke up temporarily or like I said maybe they're on like some sort of work trip or visiting family whatever the situation may be um, and you all haven't been able to really see each other too much but I definitely see this person is um, you know very excited to see you they are waiting to get back with you and they just like are so anxious and ready to you know do the thing right so thank you so much for watching this reading guys I really appreciate it if you liked it or it resonated please hit that thumbs up and also um, hit that subscribe button that would really help me out a lot if you enjoyed this do put out about four to five pick a cards a week and um, sometimes zodiac videos as well um, and also, if you are interested on my other channel that I'm starting, I do like true crime videos and um, murder mystery stuff. Um, we talk about a lot of true crime over there. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description as well for my Etsy shop uh, where I make jewelry and candles. So if you're interested in that type of thing, check it out. It would really mean a lot to me and I hope think that you guys would really like it. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number three. So that's if you chose this angel aura tourmaline. So let's go ahead and see what this person wants to do to you. What are their interests? What um, do they want to do to you the next time they see you? Okay. Okay. So I'm seeing that this person is definitely over being angry. I'm feeling like, you know, maybe you two were in some sort of argument, haven't been getting along. Uh, but they're definitely over it and they are just like excited to see you. So they are like counting down the days and minutes till they can see you and, you know, hook up with you again because they are definitely uh, missing being around you. And so they are willing to change. You know, I'm feeling like this person has, um, you know, maybe you all got into an argument about intimacy. Maybe they are not... Um, putting forth as much effort as you or in the relationship maybe you all are just arguing in general but I definitely see that this person wants to send you the message that they are willing to change they are willing to do better and be better for you so you know definitely like if you feel it in your heart to give this person a chance I definitely see that they are like making that effort to do better right like they're trying to put their best uh, best foot forward and I'm seeing strength so I'm definitely feeling this person um, you know, wants to be very rough with you. They enjoy uh, very rough sex, um, holding down, hair pulling, choking, depending on like what level um, is comfortable with you. But I feel like this person wants that really like rough and raw and passionate um, intimacy with you. That's what is going, I feel like, to help like kind of like seal the end of this argument and kind of like make you all... Um, show each other how passionate you are for each other it's definitely like very important to them and they just want you to know that they like worship the ground you walk on that they you know they think that you are very beautiful and they feel really good about you being in their life and they just feel really bad about like messing things up and so they really want to make it up to you by again giving you like really strong and powerful sex um i definitely see this person like wants to eat you out um, they definitely want to make you orgasm, you know, I feel like this person is really going to go out of their way with, like, the foreplay and really just, like, making you feel good. I just see that that is, like, a really big thing for them right now, that they just want you to feel good. They want you to, um, you know, enjoy yourself. And, you know, in the future, we see a wedding or some sort of commitment, uh, depending on what level, you know, you are in your relationship again. But I do see that, there is like a commitment coming, a wedding potentially coming for some of you uh, that this person wants to show you that they're serious about this relationship because they do really love you and they feel good about this relationship and they want to show you like how they're feeling about you, okay? So I definitely see this person as um, like trying to do better, trying to um, make more of an effort in this relationship, right? 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated, uh, please hit that thumbs up down below and also hit subscribe. I post about four to five pick a cards a week as well as Zodiac videos uh, sometimes as well. Also, if you are interested in any like true crime, murder mystery, serial killer type of things, uh, I do have another channel down below. I'm just like starting it recently. If you're interested, hit that subscribe button. Um, it's a lot of fun over there. We do a lot of um, true crime talks and things like that. So if you like that sort of thing, uh, check that out. And as well as my Etsy shop is linked down below. Uh, with candles and jewelry I make and my discount code is down there for you guys as well to save a little bit of money if there is something that you're interested in. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Welcome back pile number four. So that's if you chose this piece of geode. Very, very beautiful. I love that jewelry. Okay, so let's go ahead and see um, what are these person, like what are they wanting to do the next time they see you? What is their interest in you? Okay, so I'm seeing right off the bat this person, um, they really crave the warmth of intimacy with you. They feel really good. They crave like the warmth of your body and your touch and they just, they love that time with you. It makes them feel really good. It makes them feel uh, very positive about the experience. So this person definitely is like craving your body, craving um, the way you feel like your soft skin, the like um, the warmness of your body. It just overall is like a really great and positive experience for them. And they just definitely are like missing it. Right. And so this person is, um, you know, feeling very good about seeing you. I feel like that you all have a really positive experience with sex, whether it is new or you've been together for a while. I feel like this person, they really enjoy it. And it's always like a good time. It's always something that, um, you and this person can look forward to. So I definitely see this person is like excited and ready to go um, with this. And so this person is not being so secretive about the way that they feel. You know, I'm feeling like for some of you, if you have been in a relationship, this person um, may be a little bit more quiet. You know, I feel like um, in personal readings that I do, sometimes I do see a lot of people saying that they feel frustrated uh, because their like boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't want to um, introduce them to their family or they feel frustrated because they want to take the commitment to the next level even. And so I feel like this person is like over that. I feel like that may have been um, some sort of strife between you two for a while, um, whatever it may be, depending on obviously the length and, um, you know, the... Uh, intensity of your relationship, I guess. And, um, so, you know, this person is, they want to make that next level commitment to you. I feel like they are ready to, you know, live that life with you. You know, they're tired of the glass being half full. They want things to go to that next level so they can feel complete and happy. And so they're, you know, they don't want to continue this, um, relationship of things going very slow. They are ready to move on. And so I do see that for you too, this is true love and they really care about you and they want you to be happy and, you know, feel good about the relationship. So I definitely see this person is making like a really great and true effort to, um, you know, be good to you and be understanding that um, you may have felt frustrated before in the relationship, but they definitely, you know, want you to be happy and they want you to, um, you know, be understanding and, you know, love them. So I definitely see this person is making a lot of efforts to be better and they're very excited to be with you and just feel you again. They're just really excited for that. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you are interested in, um, I do my uh, like four to five pick cards a week. Sorry, that was hard to get out. Uh, if you're interested in subscribing, I do about four to five pick cards a week as well as some uh, Zodiac videos. So if you're interested in that type of thing, hit that subscription. And if you are interested in like true crime, murder mystery type of things, check out my description. I do um, a true crime channel as well that I'm just starting. So if you're interested in that type of thing, go ahead and check me out over there. And um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.